What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be playing some Dark Souls Remastered. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, honestly, in my opinion, it's probably one of the best games ever made. And it pretty much ruined gaming for me because every other game since has just never been able to live up to it. So let's just jump right into it and start. First thing I need to do is make my character. Um, so I'm going to be honest, unfortunately, I started recording and then about 30 minutes into the recording I looked and realized I forgot to press record. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing some things over again, which is good for you because I'm just kind of kind of blow through this. So, real quick, uh, when you're making a class in this game, the best classes are like either the warrior or pretty much the knight, the bandit, and the pyromancer are the best classes, especially for mid-maxing PvP. You can also go with the Cleric or the Deprived, because it's funny. But um, I always go with the Pyromancer, and I'll explain why in a while. I usually always went the Master Key, but with Dark Souls Remastered, if you kill a boss, you can still PvP in that area. Generally, the reason uh, when I was playing the Prepare to Die edition I brought the Master Key was so that I could skip the first boss of the Undead Burg and uh, then basically have that area open for PvPing. But since, like, if you kill the boss, you can still PvP in the areas, I guess there's really no reason to take this. But I'm not really sure what else I would get. I guess I can get this for, like, extra HP. Um, Nothing else is really that good. Maybe the Twin Humanities, nah. I, I, it's pretty much je just down to, like, these two. I think I'm just going to get the Master Key anyways, because that's what I've always gotten. Let's just go with uh, Average. Yeah. So the face, honestly, everything looks like Play-Doh. Uh, especially this one, but what I found, Far East Traveler. Go into Customize here. You mature him up a little bit just to kind of round out the jaw. Then that looks good. Uh, the hairs go with um, tempted to run the Leon hair but I'm just gonna go with what my hair currently looks like in real life which is a rat's nest and then we go to customize eyes make the spacing a little more add some green perfect there I am all right uh, boom. And that's pretty much character creation. And let's go. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came. The YouTube Let's Players. And found the souls of lords within the flame. And found content from Dark Souls. Uh, there's the boy. God, I thought he looked so cool when I was younger. First of the day. What am I He still looks cool. What am I even talking about? It's a giant skeleton. Made of other skeletons. And her daughters of chaos. I thought she was cool until I fought her. <laughs> and then we have Lord Chad, father of sunlight. Creator of busty goddess woman. The furtive pygmy. So easily forgotten. And then you just have me. There I am. The last less player of Dark Souls. <laughs> With the strength of lords. They challenged the dragons. Look at this fucking album cover shit. 
it's so fucking metal. These mighty boats peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great. It's so metal! Look at it! Nito unleashed And then you just have Nito looks like he's going to a rave. Rave Lord Nito. <laughs> and see the scales betrayed his own. Then we have the crybaby here because he has no eyes and he has tentacle feet. I just thought of a really bad joke. I'm not gonna say it. You might be able to put it together, but Seath is definitely one of those. Began the age of fire. God, that's a bad joke. That is in such bad taste. I didn't even say it, and I feel like apologizing for it. The only dog will remain. These graphics are really good. What game? Wait, this game was released in like 2010, I think. But only endless nights. 2011. Scene. Looks really good for literally 10 years old. It's back when people, uh, people cared about making good games and it wasn't just a corporate cash grab. Although I will say FromSoft with all their games are one of the more respectable companies that have maintained their integrity. So good on them. All right, so where do yes, we indeed. fit in in the story, right? The dark sign brands the unknown. Where, what, what super Chad knight are, are we going to be? Are we an heir of a nobleman? Are, are we this dungeon's jailer? We, we have to be somebody of high importance in this story, right? The dead are corralled and led to the north. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not some fucking like bacon looking we loser in this gel cell or anything the end of the world. that would be kind of pathetic if we were just some homeless man in a jail prison cell oh this is your fate so yeah we're a loser we we are nothing we are we are dirt Father, is that you? Food! Delicious sustenance. This is so weird. So I'm basically trying to make like all the jokes I made like originally. It really sucks that... Let me see, is it still recording? Okay, we're still recording. That's good. Okay, so here we have our boy. Let's get a good look at him. Got our bacon man with our luxurious mane. That really, like, my hair literally looks like this right now. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's uncanny. Super curly hair. So, I mean, we all know the controls. Doop, 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 doop. Right there. I actually missed this on my very first playthrough. There's just a second asylum demon chilling down here that you can fight later. Did these guys even do any? No. Honestly, we're doing them a favor, just putting them out of their misery. So I forgot you could jump while running in this game. Because in Dark Souls uh, 2 and 3, like you would have to click the left analog stick. But when I was uh, running through this on the, the other recording, I was like, huh, I guess there's no jump in this game. You have to double tap the, uh, the run button after you're already running to do it. So those of you that have been on the channel for a while might remember I have uh, played through a little bit of this game before. I know I say this a lot when I do Let's Plays, but I do intend for this to be a full series because I just love this game and I want to gush about it and share it with pretty much the world. So, 
You can fight this guy if you so choose right now. I'm not going to. Uh, I actually have before. There's a video up on my channel, and I can link it in the description, but... Essentially, you don't really get anything for it except, uh, the Demon Great Hammer and bragging rights. I've already done it, and honestly, the strength builds, the Demon Great Hammer, not that great in this game. Come here. And it literally takes 30 minutes because this weapon does no damage. Get the hand axe. Actually not a terrible weapon. At least starting off. I know the knight and the bandit's weapons are also pretty good. I think I think all the starting weapons are actually pretty decent. But the, the hand axe especially, like... Is something that I really like. Here we have uh, the boy, Astora. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. Look at those god rays. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yeah, sure, why not? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh... What an es oh. Thank you for my Sunny D and my key, thank you. So, cool thing about this character, um, originally, the storyline went that, first off, whatever gender you chose, they were going to be the opposite gender of you. Unless I'm thinking of Dark Souls 3. But essentially, there's two endings in this game. There's a good ending and a bad ending. Actually, I, I guess the ending, like good and bad, is subjective. There's a good, there's there's a light ending and there's a dark ending, like lighting the flame and then bringing the age of darkness. I don't remember which one is canon to lead into Dark Souls 2 story. I think it, it, I, I don't remember. But basically, this character, whatever ending you chose, was going to pick the opposite path, and then they were going to be like the final, uh, NCP boss of the game, essentially after the final boss, but that storyline unfortunately got scrapped. So he basically says, hey, carry on for me because the I tried, this guy tried fighting the asylum demon and he got fucking flung all the way from over there to here and crashed. So now we gotta complete his mission. item. Alright, buddy. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna die here, but open this just in case as a shortcut. Is there anything over there? Wait a minute. One of the reasons I love this game is it brings back, like, Legend of Zelda vibes. It's just like, there's hidden walls, there's shortcuts, there's... Uh, one of my favorite things in this game is just exploring every, like, nook and cranny. It, it's a very beautiful game. The world just feels alive. And th this game really, like, this is the game that made me want to, like, make content, wanted to stream, wanted to be a YouTuber. It's, just, it's very, very, very near and dear to my heart. So the reason I think Pyromancy is the best magic in the game is because it is the only magic that scales with the upgrading of your, your Pyromancy glove instead of like actual stats. So what you do is you run a Dexterity build because Dexterity increases your uh, casting time for your abilities. Excuse me, almost burped. <laughs> the dexterity increases your casting time, so like it makes this faster. And that caps out at 45. So what you do is you go a dex build, you get the upgraded pyromancy glove, and all of a sudden like it's almost like you're running like a 40 intelligence build. 
Do a plunging attack on this boy here. If you really want to cheese him, he's very weak to fire. Like, extremely weak. I mean, if you don't miss. Oh my goodness. Did, did I actually beat you with the, the broken sword? I, I don't I don't remember. Guy's kind of taking my lunch money right now. Alright, the trick, essentially... ...is just to get behind him and whack his butt. And then when he does that, just back off, because it does an AoE slam. Other than that, pretty easy, boss. There's different versions of him, there's stronger versions, there's another one right underneath the floor I'm on. Generally just want to one-hand this and pick him out real quick. There we go. Big Pilgrim Key. Humanity. God, this looks so good. The remastered version really does look good. Um, this is our little crow merchant that we can trade items to, but he's not active yet. Uh, when we come back to this area, because we do come back, um, he will be active from there. Let me just get a look at this beautiful landscape real quick. Glorious. Praise the motherfucking sun. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. So pretty much everything that we just saw an aerial shot of, you can go to in this game. Another reason I love it. Except for, like, the big empty castle walls. And here we are. The area that most people never got past. Because <laughs> they would go into the graveyard, get owned by the skeletons, and they'd be like, Fuck, what do I do? And then they get super duper frustrated and stop playing. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, I'm going to like mid max, but for now, um, I don't need to worry about it because we're not in danger of going over. Essentially, the only stats I care about in this playthrough are gonna be vitality, endurance, dexterity. We're gonna get to 16 strength, I believe, so that we can use the dark scythe, and then uh, maybe some attunement just to get some extra attunement slots. Other than that, I don't care about any other stat. For now, I'm going to pump into Endurance because there's no point in leveling up our HP right now when we're trying not to get hit, and you do that by dodging, and uh, you want to do damage to the bosses, so everything dodging and attacking is all built into your Endurance bar, the green bar right there. So that's pretty much what we want to focus on. Um, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be... Popping a humanity. And then I'm going to be reversing hollowing. <clears throat> the reason we do this is because A, we no longer want to look like bacon. So we get a we get a shot of our boy here. Our man's. Our guy, there he is. Look at him, he's beautiful. Um another reason we do this is because we are not a pussy. Um, reversing hollowing enables PvP. People can invade your worlds, they can fight you, they can try to steal your souls. If you kill them, you steal their souls. We enable PvP in this house. Well, what do we have here? Blah 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 blah. He basically tells us, hey, this is the only direction you're ever gonna get in the game. 
There's a bell up there. And there's a bell down there. Find them. And that's pretty much all the story you get. Uh, I will listen to some characters' dialogue, and I'll try to be quiet for some of them, but... I do like to talk. And also, this game isn't really cutscene story-driven. This game is gameplay story-driven, as well as, uh... Every item, if you go to it, it gives you a little lore about the world. Um, I'm dyslexic, and I'm not a fan of reading. So I'll only read certain things, just to maybe remember what they do. But, uh... Highly recommend playing this game, even if, like, you're, like, an advent avid like reader or Dungeons and Dragons player just the amount of information in this game just really gets you invested here we have this guy hello there I believe we are not I believe we are not acquainted please keep your distance from me as I am agoraphobic which means I don't like being around people because they're assholes so he's telling me, even though I'm uh, agoraphobic, I don't mean you ill will, so take this uh, coin. So he gave me a, a copper coin. I don't remember what they do. I think it increases, like, drop rate, or it's a covenant item or something. Then he's like, hey, join my cult. I'm like, sure, I love cults, man. So now I'm in the way of the white. Which is basically the the baby co-op PvP covenant that you use until you get Sun Bros. Um, he pretty much has useless force abilities. Uh, fucking faith in general in this game is kind of a joke. Uh, force is good. That's about the only thing. Homeward is trivialized by Homeward Bones, and then Heal trivialized by Estus. The real reason we talk to this guy is because we want to learn his gesture. And then he also tells us that his, uh, his lady and her two knight, uh, uh, companions are coming to... I think they're trying to kill Gravelord Nito. I think that's their goal. Come again. Um, anyways... Just gonna put this here. I love this gesture. He's like, eh, I don't know. That seems kinda silly. And just like Legend of Zelda, we're gonna break all his pots. So real quick, uh, the guy at the campfire says that there isn't a, like, the the elevator right here to the, the top bell is broken right now, but we're still going to go here to get some items real quick. And we can't use any of these, but uh, they will be good for, for later. You can get a talisman here for, like, using four spells. Some homeward bones, those are going to be nice. Um, you pretty much never want to use the dark sign, by the way. Unless you have no souls and you don't have homeward bones. Um, other than that, a really cool trick that I just want to say right now is there are mimics in this game, like chests. You can tell if it's a mimic if the chain is curled. If the chain is curled, it's a normal chest. If the chain is just straight, flat, it's a mimic. Lloyd Talisman, this is just the PvP item, makes it so that... NCPs and uh, players can't heal, which is good. And then here we have the, the noob killing area, which we're actually just going to run through and collect some stuff real quick. That should get us another level. Don't want to fight these guys, they will wreck our shit. Probably going to die here. I, I'm going to be honest, I did die and get cornered on the first uh, recording. So I'm going to try not to... Repeat my mistake here. Basically just run and holding your shield. What are they going to do? They're skeletons. Down there is Gravelord Nido's whole area, but uh, we're... We're not ready for this area, alright? This this is uh, this is not the area you want to start the game in. <laughs> this is the area that, uh, that little baby Ghidra started the game in on his first playthrough, and... Uh, Oh yeah, I was like, why the fuck are these skeletons so strong? Like that! Oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can the Chad player beat this stupid bullshit area? Maybe? Maybe? Yay! We did it. And here we have the crow. Look at the crow. 
Are you seeing the crow? He's big, he's beautiful, he acts like a crow. But yeah, these guys follow you for quite a while. Alright, so that's pretty much Firelink Shrine, everything... Everything cool here. Wait, did I miss a shiny? Yeah, I missed a shiny. I just love this game. Like, like I said, the world really feels alive. There's just so much to do. So much to explore. I love exploring in games. It's like one of my favorite things. Uh... This isn't good. Um... I'm gonna try to kick you guys. Okay, there's one. Can I cheese and get like a ton of really strong souls early? Or not? Okay. It's fine. Honestly, that was a shortcut. I meant to do that because now I'm back at the Firelink Shrine and I save like about 10 seconds. So that's a good speedrun tech right there. Unfortunately, I'm baking again. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I kind of messed up the speedrun by unhollowing before I, I died there. Silly of me, right? And real quick, there's some more items over here that we're just going to grab, and then that's pretty much the Undead Burg and Fire Link Shrine. <clears throat> At least until later. This is all you can really do right now. There's a guy that throws firebombs up there because he's an asshole. I want to kill him immediately. Motherfucker! This shield, by the way, sucks. Even when you dodge or block, it still takes damage. That attack right there will fuck you up, by the way. Like, that is a one hit combo. We got this boy. I parried way too soon there. The Chad parry repost versus the virgin backstab. Let's see if I can do this without fucking it up. Uh, yep. Cool. Like I said, if you could see it, you can go to it. Ring of Sacrifice is great. It basically makes it so that if you die, you don't lose all your souls. Like if you're in a, a tough spot in between bonfires and you really don't want to lose them, it can be good. But, um, yeah. On our way. There's one item here. And we got Mr. Rat. Cool. So that's pretty much this whole area. Um, I'm going to end the video here. I think I'm going to do like 30 minute recordings per episode. And uh, I'm really excited to bring you guys on this journey with me. I hope you stick around. Subscribe if you're not so you don't miss an episode. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to just gushing and beating my favorite game. So have a good one.